Hey folks, this is Samuel Heber. Um, Sammy Heber from Sammy Heber on YouTube, Sammy Heber from Facebook, uh, Heber Family Adventures here on Instagram, Samuel Huber, um, www.samuelhuber.net. I'm here today with yet another episode of Adulting While on the Spectrum. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you guys about eye contact, which is a very big topic in the autism community. For those of you who are new to the, the whole autism experience, who but are, or who have been struggling for years with trying to get their child or themselves to make eye contact with other people while talking, um, this is a huge issue for some people and some people it's not. And I think the issue I want to address today is sharing tips for autistic people on how to make eye contact in a comfortable way or just throw that out, out the window if it just isn't for you. And also help other people who are talking with an autistic person um, and how to know when an autistic person is actually listening to you and what we maybe should be teaching our autistic children. The first uh, big thing is again, eye contact is, is, not, is not the be all for um, contact is not, eye contact is not the be all for, for listening. We have ears, as we all know. And the other huge thing about autistic people is we often turn our head to focus on listening and uh, rather than making eye contact, because those are two separate uh, bodily functions that you have to do while actively listen, listening. And often doing both at the same time can be, at least for me, a bit strenuous, because um, I want to really focus on what someone saying so I can process the information and then respond um, and then but I know that I have, have to also meet the person I'm talking with halfway which is making occasional eye contact at least to show that I am listening and so the technique I developed over the years um, is counting to three when I'm not making eye contact with someone so it's one two three back to someone's eyes and that helps the other person know that Sam's listening um, but that, that's challenging for, for a lot of people on special to remember. If that technique doesn't work on you, there's other things you can do, like work on learning how to actively listen. And that's something that we should be, I think, focusing more in schools that specialize in teaching all of these children, more focusing on how to have a conversation rather than focusing on something that's not someone's strength, which is reading body cues. Um, while they are important to learn body cues, if that's still a struggle for a child. Focusing on having the art of a conversation, is, as I think, is way more important. I think the other huge important is for the other person to, you know, don't get upset when we don't make eye contact. That if my head's turned to the, the side, left or right, because I'm focused on listening to what you are saying to me so I can respond. And the other huge part is give us time to respond. A uh, neurotypical person usually responds you know, three to four seconds after someone finishes something. But for autistic people, that can be as much as 30 seconds uh, for, them respond, for them to respond. So give us time to respond, it's the biggest thing. And also just, you know, be patient with us. It's, you know, listening is a, is a really big thing. Even neurotypical people struggle with that. And even I've met neuropeople people that struggle with eye contact. You guys do it too. Um, not as much as us, but it, it happens. So it's, I think that the bottom line of today's video is eye contact isn't for everybody, but there are techniques out there like counting to three and making an eye contact with someone and then looking away, counting to three again. Um, that can be really effective and learning to actively listen to somebody repeating back or rephrasing what they have said to show that you were listening and then taking a moment, a pause to respond back. Uh, and don't just say that first thing that comes to your mind, like actually really think about you as the autistic person, what you think and then respond, like form your opinion first. And if someone's like, why aren't you responding? It's like, I need a moment to respond to you in an effective manner or really form my opinion. And that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope this video helps you out. And if you have any more questions about eye contact or active listening for an autistic person, please comment in below. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.